pressing, pressing on it too hard, you're, you're going to cause spots where it's uneven. It's going to be a distorted look to it. So you want to just hold it on there, move it around a lot. If you park it for too long, you can basically dig a hole in the glass. If you just leave it on there, it'll eventually just shatter the glass and you're done. But uh, <laughs> you want to keep it moving. You don't want to get it too hot. It also comes with a temperature meter. You don't want to let the glass get over about 175 degrees. You can run the risk of cracking it. But I've been doing this for about five years and I've never cracked a piece of glass yet. So, <laughs> as you can see, if you come up here, even on the other side, the scratch is just about gone. And I'm just going to do it a little bit more to get more of a, a uniform look to it. Now essentially that's that's the bulk of the work done already, but that's the easy part. It gets a little harder as you have to repolish and repolish. The polishing can take quite some time, uh, just because you do a lot of damage to the glass, you have to repair all that damage you did. Now this disc, if this were a larger scratch or a larger area, it would be junk, but it's not. Use it for about a minute on the glass. You can still use this disc over. But anything, if you're using a scratch, taking out a scratch from here to here, chuck this when you're done. That's going to take a few minutes. It's going to be basically junk after that. So from here, we move on to our pre polished disc. This one. Now with this system, there is a DVD. I recommend you watch DVD three or four times. Check out the uh, last video on YouTube. We did a series with them called Restoration Revolution. It's about six episodes they did just for us, and they go into extreme detail, everything you need to know, and uh, show you a lot more system to do than I can show you in an afternoon. So again, this is the pre-polished disc. This is the second step we're doing before we move on to the final step, which is the polish, which can be a little time consuming. How now, long, generally? Polishing? Depends. It can take an hour. Easily take an hour. Um, this, also a little time consuming, and you got to now open up the pattern and do a little bit more than what you just did to give everything a real uniform look. You want to stay, you want to stay on the circular motion, side to side, up and down, or? Whatever you feel comfortable, you can go, you can start going back and forth like this while moving up and down. You can do, the guys at Glastonu that are very good at using this machine, they have a crazy technique where they just make a square that gets smaller each time, and they just go reverse. It takes a long time. I'm not even that great at controlling this machine. Guys that have been doing this for a while can make it do whatever they want. It's a little squirrely at first. It will slide off the glass on you, and you're going to be repairing a lot more glass then. But uh, once you get used to it, you can literally make it do whatever you want. Scratch like that, what's, what's, what's that worth right there? Is that worth at least $125? Just for the one? Oh, yeah. At least. Or keeping you from replacing that sash. Yep. Or if a customer comes to you with a scratch, Typically, do 50% of replacement cost. Saving them from doing it, you're making us money.
Christ. Let the glass cool down. Uh, it is probably about 160 degrees right now. Yeah. Hot to the touch. Uh, let me see if... Hey, it's got batteries. Yep. Everything in here comes with every kit. And we'll go for the winner. About 151. It's a laser. What's the point of gauging the temperature? If you get too high, you can shatter the glass. What? They tell you to take a break at 150. It will probably honestly break at about 250, somewhere in there. I've never seen it get that high. How are you judging when you're done with that? Um, an even haze, where you don't really see individual line scratches anymore. You see a nice uniform, whitish gray area that's toasty. Yeah, I, I can barely tell because I'm looking at the gray and white.
You got one more step, right? After this, again, this is a polishing pad itself. It's a piece of felt. It's just compressed, tightly packed Now, yep. You have a small stretch like that and like a big plate, like something more this size. Do you have to buff out a larger area to keep from getting the distortion? No, no, you're really not going to get distortion with this, but I mean, you will if you don't blend each area. So if you have a scratch like this, not that big, kind of what we got here. Not that big. You should probably end up doing a space about this big around it. If you can, just, just give it a nice move around. So the size of the window doesn't really matter? No, not so much. But as you can see, that's just a felt pad. Um, the pad shouldn't be perfectly smooth. It needs to have defects. It needs to be roughed up a little bit. And for that, we provided with a file. You take the file every couple of minutes, really, and dig up the felt. This allows for for, for this uh, the solution here to kind of set into the into the felt a little bit. Get mixed up. So let me just get this set up right. What you want to do every couple of minutes is give a couple of sprays of this stuff on here. And as the guys in the classroom have said, you want to give it, give it just a few sprays so when it gets along the window, you move around here. Yeah, this is a little fat mill. That's how they describe it. Couple of sprays. This is the only part that is a little, a little messy. Not so much. It's not like we're like a scratch hog. Yeah, that would down that way. This is a lot less than that. The more carefully you are, the less it will fall. The more it gets out, it's going to be here. Plastic. Or, uh, plastic. I don't like it. Plastic roof? Plastic well?
Have you ever had issues with temperature? Like I, ha I just got the thing, and I've been having some bad issues with like temperature and the deep, the deep ones that I'm just going over and going over and trying to take it down. Did you get one of these? Yeah, and I don't have the red pads yet, but I, but definitely, it gets really, really hot. Yeah. It's so hot. Like you need a red pad to just minimize the work with the black pad. To get to faster, yeah, because sometimes the scratch will be deeper in some spots, and you'll get it out, but then you'll see there's still that yeah, like, yeah. line that keeps going over. Yeah, you just gotta order up those red pads. Those yeah. are, and they're working on more aggressive pads. Really? That's, yeah. Where I, I talked to Cody about it. We're in testing. He actually, in a matter of five seconds, has just eaten through glass. See, that's where, that's, yeah, that's it's awesome. It's a fine line. Being too aggressive. distortion. Um, no, there should definitely be no distortion. There should be no, no regular easing in here. Um, if we do see some, we'll just go back and touch it up. But it's got to be clean, so my grass is clean. So I'm take a look at it. Look close, you know. This glass is still probably pretty hot. And whoever wins this system should get a new mask, because I sweat all over this one. <laughs> 